Hello, Mikkel. Hello, Papa. What are you doing here today? Today, I'm unboxing the Tandy 1000 Sensation. The 1000 Sensation? You know, I think they just called them the Tandy Sensations. Can we restart now? Well, are they in those boxes right there? Yeah. Sure, go ahead. Let's open the smaller one first. Tell me a little bit about the sensation. The Tandy 1000 sensation was one of the first computers of its time to have multimedia. Wow, that's an interesting fact. What else is very well known about the sensation? Wow. It looks like there's a lot of stuffing inside that box. Yeah. It's probably to keep the computer safe. Well, I'd have to say that FedEx really did a good job packing it. Do you see anything in there? It looks <coughs> like this is a couple monitors. Oh, a couple monitors? Yeah. All right. Well, I'll tell you what. Why don't I pull them out and set them down, and then you hold the camera. All right. Pressed. Do I unpress it now? Yes. Okay, so... In the process of trying to alleviate the packing, unpacking, we found two monitors. One of them is the IBM VGA, which I, Mark did tell me he was going to send um, on me an IBM, but he also sent the Tandy 1000 RLX deskmate and an RL deskmate, as well as a CM5. Now this one here took a little bit of damage. Not, nothing serious. Little crack right there. I think we're gonna be okay. These are very sturdy computers. Michael, what do you have there? This is a Tandy 102 portable computer. This thing is very nice. This is an extremely rare computer. Wow. Let me see the underside of it. Look at that. There's an on and off switch. I'm sure the battery power. is dead. I wonder, let me see this side of it. Hmm. So we have an RS-232 port. Let's see if we can focus. System bias. Printer port. Phone and consent. Can't really focus on it. I'm trying to see. Flip it over on this side. Yeah, there we go. Looks like there's a six volt adapter. So, so hopefully we can do something with that. All right, I'm gonna turn it over to you. Is it moving? Mm-hmm. Awesome. Okay, so in the effort to try to speed this up, we, we skipped ahead a little bit and we pulled this out this is very interesting because this is a Dell computer keyboard. That's okay. I love it all because I have a Dell and it is a PS2, which means it's the style I like. Now here's a Keytronic keyboard. It is also a PS2, but it has a very unusual tip on it might be compatible with an um, IBM. Very nice. Oh, look at this. Our official Tandy mouse. 
And this is a, a rare, ultra rare PS2 Tandy Mouse. Here's another Tandy Mouse, also PS2. Both these are roller balls. Very nice. And then there's an e-machine. I remember these when they came out. Wow, look at this pin. The new easy to use Tandy 1000 RL success guarantee. Very nice. And here we go. This is nice. This is the original Tandy enhanced keyboard. This one's in great shape. No keys missing. Looks like it is ready to rock and roll. So this was a peripheral box. It was in the first box. Now what we're gonna do, is we're gonna open the second box. So we just had some light damage on the CM5 monitor. Everything else looked pretty good. Now I'm pretty sure this is gonna be the same kind of thing. Tons of packing. And I'm all I'm all happy about tons of packing. Because the more packing, the safer the product. And I'm a little excited because he told me just about the IBM PS2 and the sensation. But I see literature for a lot more computers. And there are a lot of computers in this box. Wow. As well as another monitor. This is another CM5. This was the first of the Tandy color monitors in the, there was a CM5, CM11, well there was a lot of CMs, I think there was a CM, they started with a, way back with the CM1 I think, I don't, I'm not really sure, but I know there's a lot of CM5s and a lot of CM11s. What is this? This looks a little weird. Got the phone factor of a sensation. Oh wow. This one of my favorite computers. This is the Tandy RLX. I have one of these. These are nice. I believe this is a 386SX. Okay. This looks like a Tandy printer. Yep. The tried and true DMP 130. Very good printer. When you were in the dot matrix and you wanted something that just printed and printed and printed, that 130 was the way to go. All right. This is pretty amazing what I'm seeing here. Tandy RL. This is the Tandy 1000 RL. Still looking for the sensation.
Wow, this is the Tandy 2500 SX20. Pretty rare. I don't see these come up much. No RL as of yet. I mean, no sensation. Hopefully, this is it. Wow. Come in on a close up. Look how beautiful this thing looks. Wow. Look at that. Oh, wow. This thing looks hardly used. Here she it is, looks... the Tandy 1000 Sensation. Wow. Look at that. That fan's hot, no buildup in there. This was hardly ever used. Wow. There she is, the Sensation. I have the original CD-ROM that went over here so I can replace this. But this is the one. This is the holy grail. And there is one more computer and I believe this is the IBM that he told me about. And if that's the case, this thing's going to be heavy. Oh yeah, it is. It sure looks so big. So this is an IBM. Yeah, this is one of the original PS2s. Looks like it's seen better days. But it's fully loaded. Take a look at the back. Looks like it's got a lot of expansion cards. On my further video, I will go ahead and open these up and we'll take a look inside. But that is what we have I'll take over. Alright. So it looks like we've got them all unpacked, Mikkel. We got the looks like there's an RL, an RLX, a couple of CM5s, a PS2, and the beautiful Tandy sensation sitting over there as well as peripherals and some literature such a great great donation by Mark who was one of the purchasing agents for the Tandy computers I want to thank him and I want to thank all of you for watching. This is a quick unboxing of the Tandy Sensation. What do you think of the Tandy Sensation, Mickle? I think it's pretty cool because it's a very rare computer since there's only like 10,000 of them. And probably less because some must have gotten destroyed and broken and abandoned and things like that. So I think it's a pretty cool computer. So can you wait till we can't, can't you wait till we, I mean, personally, it's going to be exciting to um, open up this these computers and see if we can get them going and get this original software working. Mm -hmm. Now, I have a friend of mine who actually gave me the original software, a mirrored image of all the original software of the Tandy Sensation. I will mention his name and all of that and probably links to his Sensation on my next video when I start installing and repairing because I remember that Mark told me that the sensation had a bad power supply which is no problem I'll get that working and no problem usually what ends up happening with these older power supplies is they start losing caps well we have left a mess in our garage so we're gonna start putting this all away thank you for watching Stay tuned for further videos on the beautiful Tandy Sensation and everything we have there. You have a great day and a better life. Remember to do more of what makes you happy. See ya.